Hey everybody, it's Shark Scrapper. Well, we've got this toolbox left over from that factory. Let's dive in and see what's in there. This is the kind of thing that my friend Ian Matthews over in the UK, he would love. He would love going through this. Uh, an old horn. Of course, the problem with is that Ian would keep most of what's going to come out of here. All right, I'm not sure. Aluminum, a couple of little tiny steel there. I'm gonna throw that in breakage. Breakage. Spanner. A hinge, very rusty hinge. I wanted to see if I could find something to throw the metal in. I've got a couple of small things here I can chuck that in. Oh, that's a spring from a, uh, a uh, radiator. There's a toothbrush, uh, gasket. Uh, I don't know what you are. Hmm. You're plastic, though. You're not metal. Uh, clamp here. Ferris. A multi-tool. Oh, there's some copper. I'm just going to keep the magnet close by. There's one way to do it. <laughs> just pick up a bunch of stuff. You know that's all going to be ferrous. Well, I had to pull that out just because that's, that is one old style can opener there. That's for the bottles, that's for the cans, popping the old beer cans open. Hinge and a valve handle. A little reflector light. Earplug holder. Yick. Nasty. Hey Ian, what size bolts were you looking for, man? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This box, there's an old cigar box in here. King Edward. King Edward. And it's got just all kinds of little bits and pieces in there. Now that's brass. Let's set that aside. Oh man, this mailbox is getting heavy. Chunk of hose. Just some... Uh, let's see, there's a piece of a screwdriver, there's some rings, there's some brackets. Some more nuts and bolts and such in here. nuts and bolts and springs looking to see if we come up with any copper or it's aluminum aluminum rubber some more ferrous bits that's just a chunk of steel Hunk O Steel. That's what Mrs. Shark calls me, Hunk O Steel. <laughs> hmm, you might be stainless. Nope. You're not. Nice wishes. Look at that. That is an old pop top. Man, you don't see those too often anymore around here. Old pop top. Those those are aluminum too. Somebody had a pop top drink a while back and just threw it in here. God knows how long that's been in here. There's another rusty spanner. 
piece of wire. There's a piece of brass. Some. What are you? Oh, some little drill heads. Drill bits. Little drill bits. Not brass or copper, it's ferros. There's a little piece of brass right there. There's another little piece of brass. Alright, now then, piece of cloth. Ooh, that's copper. I bet you that's copper. Yeah, that's a nice chunk of copper. Oh, the horn can go down in here. Because that's nothing. Hmm. Well, there's some sort of tool for... I'm sure it was some sort of specialty tool for something. And another spanner and a big nail. That's going to be brass. Probably. Yep. Oh, there's some more brass. More brass. Huh, I don't know what you are. You look like a bar of soap. <laughs> Atlas. Arclid. Looks like that was probably the cap to some flux or something like that. Huh. Mm, that's copper. That's a nice chunk of copper there. I wonder what that was. Anybody know what that is? That's going to be mystery item number one. Mystery item number one. What was that? I think that's the only mystery item so far. Both Ferris. You are not magnetic. I'm thinking you're aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. Okay, more ferrous. More ferrous. Ring clamp. There's a little toy soldier. <laughs> little toy soldier. That's cute. I used to have a whole. I used to have hundreds of those when I was a kid. Aluminum, trash. Got some more ferrous stuff here. That's a uh, socket, uh, a light, you know, for an extension cord. There's another little reflect reflector. Reflector. <laughs> There's a piece of pipe. Man, you don't weigh hardly anything at all. Huh. It should be a chuck of aluminum pipe. It hardly weighs anything. Oh, let's see. Oh, you're copper. Look at that. Yeah, you're copper. It's very cool. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of nuts and bolts there. That's another copper gasket. And you appear to be brass. Yep. Piece of brass. Ferris. Well, that was a 
fun unboxing, but the next two unboxings are even more fun because these are surprise boxes from some viewers. All right, y'all, it's mail call time. Mail call is always fun. I tell you, board ship mail call used to be like so important. So this first package is from the Urban Prospector. I am, can't imagine what this is. I'm so excited. I'm just trying to hide the address here. All right, let's see now. We got some newspaper. Oh, interesting. Quizdom. Interesting. All right, Urban Prospector, what is this? Yes, no, true, false, at least some sort of, let's see. Is this four of those? Oh, okay. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh man, folks, this is cool. Check it out. It's a cop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so excited of dropping it. It's a copper, probably a megla, a copy of a megalodon tooth. A copper. Oh man, Urban Prospector, that is so cool, man. That is so awesome. That is definitely going up on the display case. Yeah, baby. We'll get you a picture when I get that up in the display case back at Casa de la Shark. And then he had sent me some, in, so, uh, talked about some boards and they came, must have come out of this. So that'll be fun to dig into. Yeah, here we are. Original artwork by Tristan Hymas. So hopefully you all can see that. That is very cool. Very cool. There's the back of the card there. That is so cool. Man, thank you so much. And this will be fun to take bust into these and take a look at the boards in here. All right. Sweet. All right, now our next box. I'm going to open it over here so you can't the address but it's from CU Scrapping see what kind of fun stuff Roger sent me we have a note here uh, in appreciation of the time you spent with me going over a book I put together a small care package for you oh, okay all right the small envelope is a menu from the shark thought you would get a kick out of that. Very cool. Um, so let's see, where is that? So that would be that. Okay, very cool. We'll check that out. The flat rate envelope is from back when he had part ownership in a wood shop and we had a laser engraver. I used to make custom plaques and this is just my old sales sample on one quarter inch plywood rather than the actual plaques. Oh, let's take a look at that. I'm going to take my dirty gloves off here. Don't need to keep these on. Instead, I'll handle it with my dirty fingers. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. So, that would have been a plaque that they would have made probably out of brass. But I can imagine no more rewarding career than any man who may have been asked in this century what he did to make his life worthwhile. I think he can respond with a good deal of pride and satisfaction. I served in the United States Navy. An actual quote from President John F. Kennedy. 
John F. Kennedy, you, most of you know this. He was in the, the Navy in World War II, PT-109. That is so cool, Roger. Thank you. Here, I'm going to put it back in here so that it doesn't get messed up. Got to figure out what to do with that, too, now. Then, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh! <laughs> oh, my! Well, I guess I should have opened the box a little quicker. <laughs> oh, man, Roger, I appreciate the thought, buddy. Um, yeah. I didn't know that you were shipping me corn on the cob. I would have, I would have opened it up a lot sooner. <laughs> oh man! Oh dude, I am so sorry, man. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna take the rest of this right out, but uh, local grown Illinois sweet corn. Oh man, Roger, I, I really appreciate it. God, I feel like crap now that I didn't get to this and get it opened up so much sooner. Oh man. All right, there's some really cool stuff here. Yeah, if, uh, so uh, if y'all ever send me produce, let me know ahead of time because I'm terrible about getting out to my post office box. So yeah. No excuses. I knew the package was coming. I just wasn't expecting produce. 